this is so hard to do this. PTSD is one of the cruelest situations to live with. Every minute of every day when you're affected, you literally have to talk to yourself and say, don't run away, don't walk off, don't get yourself out of the situation. Because it could be the most innocuous situation that sets it off. It's really cruel. You're like bundled up with anxiety, hyper aware of everyone else, hyper aware of what you think they're thinking. All you want to do is just react normally in situations. This is the first time I've tried to work full time with animals again. And everyone knows how much that's natural to me. It's my happy place. But I'm really struggling today. It's like you get waves of who you were when I was a very competent zookeeper. Who you were, what you could do when people came to you for advice or you'd organise stuff. And I can't deal with people anymore. I don't think so anyway. I could work through it. It's a real constant battle to just get on with stuff. But really automatically want to jump in and get involved with something that you could have done before with your eyes shut. You've then got to deal with the physical, actual physical inability to do by instinct, what you used to be able to do. Because there's a fucking brain injury involved as well. <laughs> so you take it out on yourself. You keep it all in, because no one really understands. No one... People are scared of it. I wanted to open up, because... That's one of the hardest things, when you're in the middle of it. Which I was about 20 minutes ago. You can't speak, you can't communicate. So that's one of the reasons people don't understand post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> because we can't open up about it when it's happening. And people around us don't really know, apart from we've gone a bit weird and we're reacting and, and we're the people that cry when we get under stress and then we go, it's OK. I'll be all right in a minute. And they just think, what the hell? I don't want to work with this person. I just, I needed to say this. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. But it's a little insight into anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder and brain injury and everything. Like, I still look like the person that I was. The only thing that stays the same is me being around the animals. People, is just so much more difficult now. Oh, thank you.